What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another review. This time we're taking a look at Good Will Hunting, directed by Gus Van Zandt, co-written by Ben Affleck and Matt Damon, starring Robert Williams, Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, and Beanie Driver. Good Will Hunting tells the story of Will Hunting, who is a 20-year-old prodigy, with, with who is a self-taught genius in a way, who is pretty much wasting his life being a janitor at, a, at an MI school until he is discovered by a professor named Gerald Rambo, solving a very complicated mathematical equation. This inspires Lam, Lam, Lambo to seek out Will. Of course, when Lambo finally seeks out Will, Will is uh, pretty much on trial for assaulting a police officer. So in a last-ditch ditch effort to kind of salvage this kid, Lambo goes to his, his, old college, uh, his old college roommate named Sean McGuire, played by Robert Williams, to pretty much act as his therapist and break through to Will to kind of to help him unlock his potential in a way. So yeah, that is the overall basic plot of Good Will Hunting. It's pretty much the story of Bobby Fischer. That's what this movie is. It's like a Bobby Fischer type of movie. Uh, the story of Good Will Hunting. It, 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 it's... <laughs> Good Will Hunting to me is basically like any other coming of age story. It, you have this young kid who is full of potential, yet he's wasting his life away. And, he's, and, and he finds a mentor who helps him unlock said potential. So that way he can better himself. Uh, it, it's a story you've seen a thousand times. It's been done to death a thousand times. Me personally, I don't think Goodwill Hunting does anything uh, all that different with the story. That doesn't make the movie bad. But it all to me, but to me, it just makes the movie just you know a typical drama. Uh, what makes this movie do, does stand out is that it does boast a very good cast. Uh, I think Matt Damon as Bill Hunting did a really did a real good job in the lead of this movie. Uh, this was one of this is when Matt Damon was on the verge of his super, of his superstardom, as with Ben Affleck, who was more of a supporting player in this movie. But I think Matt Damon in the lead role, I think he did a fine job. And he's backed by and he's and he is backed by Robert Williams and Stellan Skarsgård, who are two veteran actors. Who at this time, you know, when you have a Williams in your movie, you you have instant star power. And I like Williams in this movie as the therapist Sean McGuire. I like how, how at first he and uh, he and Will get off to a rocky start, but as the movie progresses, they start to form a very strong bond, a very good, it's almost a, it's a very subtle father and son type of bond that they form with one another since they have similar experiences. And Sean doesn't take any of Will's bullshit. And I like it. it it's a natural flow that progresses throughout the movie. I like Stellan Skarsgård in this movie as well, who plays the character of Lambeau, who is an acquaintance of the Sean McGuire character. Uh, Skarsgård is an un is a very underrated actor. He never, I don't think he gets enough credit for any of for any of his performances that he's in. I like him in this movie. Uh, I like the scenes of Skarsgård and Williams when they act off one another. I would have liked to see actually would have liked to see more scenes of those two just acting off one another because I thought that Skarsgård and Williams have really good on screen chemistry with one another. Just like Williams and Damon have pretty good on-screen chemistry with one another. <clears throat> I would not have mind seeing more scenes of of uh, Lambo and uh, Maguire sharing more scenes, particularly since they have a history with one another. And there is a lot of tension between the two, which gets rectified at the end of the movie. And the relationship with the and to me the Maguire Lambo relationship kind of kind of parallels uh, Will's relationship with his friend uh, Chucky Sullivan, played by Matt, played by Ben Affleck. Chucky Sullivan is a is pretty much Will's best friend, but no Chucky also wants Will to also be better. Wants something better for Will because Chucky realizes that Will is a pretty much has a genius level intellect and he's wasting his life away. And Chucky and you know Sullivan he's trying to break through to, he's trying to break through to Will you know, in his own way as well. So I, you know, I, I like the fact that this movie, you know, it has characters that realize that this character, that Will has potential, but Will just wants to squander that potential away. To the point where he breaks up with his girlfriend, uh, played by Meanie Driver, named Skylar. Uh, I think Meanie Driver in this movie, I thought she was okay in the role as well. Her and Damon and have decent on-screen chemistry with one another. Uh, their relationship is built up throughout the entire movie. Until it, fi until it finally, finally implodes. Um, <clears throat> and the movie, it does have a resolution near the end where Will goes to seek California to seek out 
his girlfriend to kind of reconnect with her in a way. So the movie does have a sappy ending, which, you know, it, it, you know it's, it's a drama. <laughs> with a sappy ending, what do you expect? Uh, from a production value, I think this movie is really well directed. I thought Gus Van Sant is a talented director, though I think this movie does drag in a lot of areas. And I think this movie can also kind of be a little bit of a bore in some areas as well. Now, it doesn't now, now it doesn't make it a bad movie whatsoever. But at the same time, I've seen dramas that are better, that are longer, but are also better paced than Good Will Hunting. Like this movie is two hours long, but it feels like it's three hours long because there are certain moments and scenes that kind of drag along. Like the first 40 minutes to me drag the first 40 minutes of this movie drag it's not until robin williams is in it, it's not until robin williams's character is introduced where to me the movie starts to pick up a little bit more steam and then it becomes uh, much more watchable though it does drag in certain areas so it's like the, the to me this movie to me the movie has pacing issue issues and i found myself you know trying really really hard to pay attention even though it mean because now again the story overall this movie that engaging because I don't think Goodwill Hunting does anything unique or creative with the with the coming of age story that is that's being presented. However, that's not taking away from the writing of this movie. To Ben Affleck and Matt Damon's credit, I think they really captured a realistic feel with this movie since both the, since both these guys are Bostons or Bostonians, they really captured that Boston like uh, dialect and personality that their characters have, and the scenes where they're interacting with each other and with their friends. It feels natural and it feels real. So I can appreciate that from a writing aspect, from a directorial aspect. The overall movie is well done, though the pacing issues kind of are kind of uh, sluggish to me. And the overall story, though it is well done, it's not overall that engaging, but it does have a lot of good, powerful scenes. Uh, I think one of the best scenes in this movie is when Will, fi is when Will finally breaks down and cries in McGuire's arms. In the it's not your fault scene which is a very great scene which is a really, really good scene and the handful of scenes that lambo and mcguire have to themselves some of the best scenes in this movie as well and i also like the scenes with uh damon and affleck and their and, the, and their characters friendship <clears throat> so yeah those are all so yeah those are pretty much my thoughts on good will hunting i do recommend it i think this is a really good movie i wouldn't i would not really say this is one of the best dramas i've ever seen it's not honestly to tell you the truth i don't even think this movie should even won the academy award that it won to be honest with you because I, I don't think it's that, i don't think it's like that good of a movie though it is a very very solid movie and i do enjoy it which is why i'm going to give it a solid eight out of ten i overall do recommend it i did like it though i think it does have some pacing issues where it could be a little sluggish in a lot of areas and Yep, that's pretty much it. And the story is not all that remarkable. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Good Will Hunting. Let me know yours in the comment sections down below. Like the video and subscribe. And I will check you back next time for more.